Okay, taking a look around the uh, the packaging on the Alcatel One Touch Pop Icon. You can see, as you, um, all, as with all track phone Android devices, it comes with what I call the triple triple um, feature. So if you buy a 60 minute card, you'll get 180 minutes of talk, 180 texts, and 180 megabytes of data. Uh, like I said, that's standard with all uh, track phone smartphones, as well as the track phone bring your own phone program. It's also going to run on the Verizon native network, which means it has to be actual Verizon coverage, not uh, Verizon partner coverage. So if you're coming from a track phone that ends a uh, model that ends in the letter C, that also runs on Verizon, but it, that might have a little better coverage than a smartphone because of the, um, the roaming agreements not being in place for the smartphone coverage. Also here you see the most noteworthy thing in my opinion about this phone is the 5 inch display. That's a pretty huge display, it's uh, way bigger than anything I've ever used before and it's the biggest available for a track phone. And you have the 5 megapixel camera and the front facing camera which doesn't have much uh, pixel, uh, much resolution there and I believe that this is also going to be a um, autofocus camera with flash. Uh, then you also see the 3G and Wi-Fi, which is pretty standard, and a uh, large screen icon, which I think is kind of a ease of use feature that might be suitable for someone using their first smartphone. Um, I think maybe what you see here on the screen is how it's going to look um, in that setting. It's something that can be switched on and off from what I understand, and it just makes the icons kind of easier to understand and uh, larger, basically. Now let me open it up here. And there it is, pretty huge. Um, just scanning through the list of features, it is a uh, the only quad core phone available for track phone at this time. That, as far as I know, um, Bluetooth 4.0, uh, of course, access to the Google Play apps, um, micro SD card up to 32 gigabyte, and uh, pretty other standard set of features. I'm just going to tear it open now and see if it really feels as big as it looks, which to me is huge. So, take a look here. And I will be um, activating this phone pretty much as soon as I get done recording this video and giving it a test right away, just to get a feel for it. Um, Wow, that is it's just a, a massive phone compared to anything that I'm used to so far. I actually just, uh, right now, I've been using the LG Optimus Fuel, which is a 3.5-inch screen. Uh, that was a step back for me from the 4-inch screen on the Dynamic 2. Um, and, man, this is just pretty huge. So that's definitely striking as soon as I open the package here. Um, not too much else significant in there. A little quick start guide. Who knows how helpful that will be. Uh, basically just the, the wall charger there and the track phone um, activation information, track phone services guide, and then a little primer on track phone service. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here because I can't tell you too much more about the phone until I get it turned on and activated. But like I said at the beginning, if you have any questions about this phone or about how it's going to compare to the LG Ultimate 2 or to the Moto E for track phone, um, go ahead and leave me a comment below this video or on my blog and I will do my best to, to respond and answer that for you. Okay, one other quick thing that I wanted to do here before I... Uh, wrap up this video is uh, do a little size comparison for you so first I'm going to turn it on and uh, this is the first time I've turned it on since purchasing it so hopefully there's enough battery to power the screen for a little bit and just to give you a sense of how big the screen actually is on this phone um, here it is next to the iPhone there it is I mean you can tell it's just it's massive even that's an iPhone 4 
which has a three and a half inch screen. Um, the four came out, I believe, uh, about three and a half or four years ago. Um, and that was a pretty standard screen size at the time it came out. So you can see how much that trend has gone toward the, towards the larger screens. Um, and here's the phone that I currently use, which is also a three and a half inch screen, but to me it seems even more striking, the size difference on those two right there. That is the LG Fuel on the left, which is a three and a half inch screen. And um, you can tell very similar button layout there. Um, and one more comparison for size here is the LG Dynamic 2. That is a 4 inch screen on the left. And um, I'm tempted to show you this side by side with my iPad mini, but I'm actually using the mini to record the video right now, so I'm going to have to uh, figure out a different way. Maybe I can slide a picture into the into the video here before I finish the editing process. Um, for now, let's just take a look around the outside of the phone. You can see there's only three buttons on the in the home row here, there's the back, the home, and the menu button. And as far as hardware buttons, there is uh, there are only three on the the right as you're facing. This is the power button, about half, a little more than halfway up, and then near the top is the volume rocker switch. On the bottom, there's just the uh, micro USB plug-in. On the top, you have the three and a half inch or sorry, three, three and a half millimeter um, headset jack. On the back, just the flash and the camera and the speaker, it looks like. And uh, this phone did not ship with a micro SD card. It accepts up to uh, 32 gigabyte cards, as I mentioned earlier. And it looks like now all that's left for me is to get it set up and um, run it through some tests once it's active. So. Stay tuned for my next video, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Thanks.